Yeah, um, fantastic for me, uh, obviously on a personal note, but um, nevertheless it was the most important for us to go through uh, to the next round and you know we have a really difficult game for us waiting um, on Saturday night so um, I think it's going to be a little bit more harder than, than this last match, um, obviously because Sydney are uh, you know, a fantastic side over the last you know, few years in the competition so um, yeah, real test for us. Um, yeah, look, I mean, it's never, it's never great when you lose, you know, important players in your squad. So, um, you know, it's, it's a difficult position to be put in. But I think we handled it great as a team, um, as, a, as, a, as a club as well. Um, you, know, we've, uh, you know, we've stepped up and everyone who, who needed to, to do their job on the, on the game and, and on the day did it, did it well. Um, the boys that came in, um, you know, really grinded out the result and what we really needed to do was, was to get through to the next round and we how, did that. How much did it galvanise you? You must have been aware of the outside sort of expectation that was, was, was pretty low and, and history was against you. Did that sort of galvanise you as a group? Did you talk about let's do something special here? Um, I think <laughs> if you look back over the course of the season, um, a lot of people have been saying the same thing over and over again and, and never really given us a chance. So um, I think we showed that yesterday night, um, yesterday afternoon, that we, we have what it takes. Um, and now it's just up to us to really to kick on from here and um, make sure we put in a, a good performance and give ourselves every chance of going to the next round. How important is that 10 day break for you and, and your fitness and, and the ability to get back to some of the close to fitness? Yeah, I mean, you know, since day one, I've been sort of struggling to, to get my fitness up to scratch and just been playing catch up. So it's, uh, it's given me a good opportunity to sort of get up in, up to scratch with the boys. Um, yeah, I mean, it showed the other night, I think, um, you know, I felt pretty fresh, I felt pretty good, so hopefully I can kick on from here and, and continue that. What's the outlook for Craig and the senior you know, um, Mate, since we left um, the other day, uh, we've, we've left them behind and, and sort of waited. Obviously, it's a public holiday today, um, and I think they'll get in to, to get some scans or some checkups uh, in tomorrow. Um, pretty good, uh, pretty good. A little sore, obviously. Um, it's it's match day minus one, um, so yeah. Uh, hopefully it'll it'll be alright by the weekend. Um, we've got enough days now to, to recover, and obviously here today and um, off tomorrow, and we'll build up for the game. And I think we'll be right. Oh, just precaution, always. Yeah, it's just been like that the whole season, so. Um, no, I don't. I don't think you know anyone feels that way that they have the the sole responsibility of, of carrying this team. I think um, you know we've shown throughout the year that uh, we've got enough players here to, to step up and in, in games, um, you know, when we haven't been performing our best, someone's always come out and, and you know put the ball in the back of the net and, and got us three points. So um, we, or stepped up or even you know saved a, a goal, um, saved something off the line. So. Um, I think we, as a, as a unit, I think that's our best, um, our best strength and that's something we need to use. How are your stress levels yesterday, sort of last 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, through the roof, through the roof, 100%, especially on the bench when, you know, you can't do much and you're giving your all and it's up to everyone else. But um, that was uh, definitely exciting uh, last 15 minutes of the game. What are those moments like with, I don't know, with Carl sort of barking instructions, everyone just biting their nails, like what are those moments? <laughs> everyone's barking instructions. Um, everyone's, you know, sort of eager to make sure the boys get it right. And um, you know, it's it is nail buying stuff. And hopefully, hey lads, um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we, in the next game won't be like that um, as much. So um, you know, I'm confident that we got what it takes to, to do, keep it that way. Have you, have you always sort of had confidence in your sort of ability, ability to make an impact on the game? Um, I don't think I need to comment too much on that because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to brag or anything, but, you know, I, I do have a lot of experience, you know, throughout my career and, and where I've played and what I've done. Um, I wouldn't be here where I am today and, and done what I've done without believing in myself. So, 
Um, everybody goes through rough patches. Um, it's just part of life, part of football. So um, my time comes sooner or later, always. Um, and you know, I, th I think yesterday was was some of that time, and I'm hoping for more of that in the weekend. If you've been able to get up to full fitness, did you feel like you, you probably would have been a really good chance of going away with the Socceroos? And if so, how much has that sort of driven you over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, look, I mean, <laughs> come in from quarantine, um, you know, two weeks, uh, not training prior, um, and jumping into, into a season, um, yeah, that's already kicked off pretty much. So. Um, it always makes it difficult and there's always going to be stop and start and I was aware of that. Um, you know, whether I started early or not and if that would have got me into the Socceroos, I'm not sure. Uh, that's not my call. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm fully focused now on, on Adelaide and making sure that on Saturday we, we get the right result to go into the final. Did you chat with Arnie? Did Arnie chat with you? Um, prior, before this camp, no. No, I haven't had a chat. Um, like I said, that's that's out of my hands, um, you know, on a personal note. But as a team, um, I think it's a bit of both. It is a, a clean slate, but um, you know, we still want to keep in our in the back of our mind uh, what happened throughout the season. And um, you know, we got to win at home. Um, we got a point away, and hopefully now we can kick on and, and make sure that on Saturday we we get into the final. What, why did they touch you up so much? At home a couple of weeks ago? Sorry. Why did That's something we're going to look at um, this week. Uh, I think we'll, we'll adjust a few things and you know, look back on that game, um, analyse that and, and make sure that it doesn't happen this weekend. But um, it's, going to be, it's going to be a fine line. Um, you know, these games are, are won in moments and whoever grabs those moments, I think, will, will, will get into the final. How are you going to do next year yet, Tom? Or next season? Um, as of yet, I don't. Um, I've spoken to the club and um, they're aware that at the end of the season, I'll sort of make a decision then. Just, I, I, if I got an offer from Man United, I'd walk away like I'd walk from this press conference. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously it's just sort of time will tell. Um, I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a hurry. I just want to make sure that I finish off this season um, as best as I can personally and as as a club to to do as well as we can. I was here before, um, you know, back uh, when I when I came back to the A League, and you know, I had a great time, and that was something that sort of uh, made my decision to come back here as well. Um, and I, I love it here, so you know, we'll see what happens in the future.